What is going on guys? Miranda right Pursuit Aesthetics and today is going to be a pretty cool video because a former client of mine and a very very long time subscriber is actually coming over here today to get a workout in with me. And he literally asked me about this months ago uh, but today it's actually going down and I made it happen. Um, he's coming by in about an hour and we're going to hit the gym together so that's going to be fun. And he has made an insane transformation guys in 16 weeks. Um, so I'm probably going to do an interview with him as well. And I'm kind of show you guys the whole process behind how we lost all that fat because he made an insane transformation. Um, so I think that's cool to share as well in a separate video to kind of give you guys an idea how to lose fat and how he did it, for example. So how you could do it um, or something like that. So that's going to be pretty epic as well. And he's going to be here in about an hour, um, so we're going to work out about 1.30, which is a little bit early for me to actually break my fast. So I'm just going to have like one small apple and then one protein bar, all right? And this is the caramel peanut flavor, which is absolutely amazing, actually. Just got it. And um, so, yeah, just a little snack to hold me over during that workout. And um, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. Right, so I'm about to drive to the train station, actually, because um, Joey lives about two hours away, I believe. And he is coming by train here. So I'm picking him up there. And then we are going to the gym, which is actually like two minutes from the train station. So that's pretty much perfect. I'm sipping on my pre-workout right now. I've got the my pre here. And uh, yeah, definitely excited. I have never seen him before in real life. So I love meeting new people. I think it's always cool. And especially meeting you guys. Because obviously, through all the support that you guys show me, like it is cool for me to do something back, even if it's just for one person. Um, it's still cool to show that I appreciate you guys and um, so I hope that you guys know that I appreciate you But I suppose you do because I tell you guys in every video. Hi guys. I'm here with my man Joey. What's up? What's up? So uh, maybe just introduce yourself really quick. Yes, uh, so I'm uh, Joey. I'm uh, 90 years old I'm training for three and a half four years now and uh, today I'm gonna hit a session with uh, MRI so, Yeah, it's gonna be good. So we're about to go to the gym right now. See you guys there. Hi guys, so we're basically doing an upper body workout today. He's warming up on the bench press. So we're gonna do chest first, then back, some shoulders, and arms, so full upper. All right, so I actually wanna take you guys through this workout today. Uh, we did an upper body workout, like I just said. And what we basically did was a combination of power training and hypertrophy training, which I have told you guys in a lot of videos, this is the way that I prefer to train um, natural people, right? As a natural lifter, you wanna get very strong on your exercises, on your key lifts. I think that's one of the most important thing about building size. And I have a lot of people actually, a lot of clients on full body routines where you only do up to five reps and they still put on a lot of size guys. Um, so it's not just about doing a lot of pump stuff and pump work, a lot of drop sets, supersets. I don't really believe in all that, all right? You can use it to add more volume to your workouts, um, but I believe that strength is a very, very good indicator of whether you are making progress or not. And during the cut, obviously, you wanna stay strong, guys. Stay strong in the gym. Um, because when you're cutting and your strength is dropping and you're just doing very high rep stuff, there is a very good possibility you're gonna lose size as well. Um, so we started off with the bench press and we did that for a little bit of lower reps, all right? So up to five reps. Um, and then for the second exercise, we did the higher reps, right? So we did two exercises for the big body parts today. So basically the first exercise we do is very focused on strength training, power training, and then we move on to the hypertrophy work. Um, so that's basically something called power building. I've talked about this before a lot as well, um, but there are basically two ways I like to do it, all right? So you either have separate power days, where you just have one day where you only do three to five reps, you take a lot more rest time, and then you have another day where you do hypertrophy stuff, so less rest time, a lot more reps, um, eight to 15 reps. Um, but today we actually did a combination of the two in one workout. So that's another thing you can do, right? And I like to switch it up from time to time. And so this is basically what Joey was doing at the moment. So I decided to jump in and join him with this workout. And now obviously he has been my client. So he's using the same principles that I have used on him because like he noticed that it worked. So he's basically picking it up right now because he's actually not my client right now anymore. And if you guys have seen the interview, which is in the description, you guys would know. But he actually worked together with me for 16 weeks. All right. And after those 16 weeks, he basically basically said, you know, I've learned a lot from you, I've learned enough, I know how to proceed right now. And that is exactly what I'm trying to accomplish with my coaching. I'm not trying to give people a plan that they just can follow to get results, and then once they don't have a plan anymore, they will fail and they will just go back to the way they were. I wanna change people's lives, I wanna make sure that once people quit the program, once people finish the program, that they know how to proceed, that they know how to make gains. 
and it is basically a lifetime investment for them, right? And that's just really the way that I like to look at it as a coach and how I like to be satisfied about the services that I provide. Because some people think it's very expensive, but to me, like honestly, I think it's a lifetime investment um, if you properly follow a program and after that you basically know how it works and you can proceed yourself. So that's basically how I like to see it. So as far as the back exercises go, we started off with weighted pull-ups, which is my absolute favorite exercise. Now Joey slightly killed me on a bench press because he actually did 110 kg, which I wasn't able to do. Um, but I killed him a little bit on the pull-ups because that's obviously my strong point so yeah every person basically has his own strong points um i did a 30 kg plate here i believe he did a 10 kg plate he obviously weighs a little bit more as me as well um, but yeah, definitely great exercise. Weighted pull-ups is my absolute favorite exercise for bad guys. Um, so after that, we basically did the machine row, and now we're at the shoulder dumbbell presses. And so we're doing this for a little bit lower reps as well. And then we do the lateral raise for a little bit higher reps, right? And that's obviously an isolation exercise. So on the compounds, you want to do the lower reps, the power and strength training. And then you want to save all the higher rep stuff, the 10 to 15 reps for your isolation work. Um, to basically add some more volume to your workouts, not really stress your central nervous system too much, um, but basically add some more volume. And so by now we basically finished the big body part, so we're moving on to some arms. Um, so first of all, doing something for biceps, just some dumbbell curls, standing. Um, I like to do them on an incline bench as well. Like it's just variation, guys. Like honestly, it doesn't really matter what kind of isolation exercise you guys really do. Um, some people think that some isolation exercises are magical for muscle growth. It all doesn't really matter, guys. As long as you stick to a certain exercise, you do it every single week or maybe even twice a week, and you progress in it, all right? That is the most important thing. And that's why I believe in having this kind of the same exercises for at least six to eight weeks um, to be able to properly progress and to basically do them every single week or even twice a week and to be able to really write down your stats and try to increase them every single day, right, in the gym. Now, if you're cutting, it's obviously a little bit more hard, so right now I'm just trying to maintain my strength on every single exercise. Um, so for triceps, we basically did the push down, which is actually kind of my favorite exercise for triceps, guys, when it comes to isolating the triceps. Um, I just feel it really, really hard in my tries. And like when I do skull crushes, it kind of bothers my elbows a little bit. Um, and after that, we did some face pulls for the rear delts, and that was basically it. Hi guys, leaving the gym. Had a pretty good session. How did you like it? Yeah, yes, I liked it very much. <laughs> yeah. He was pretty strong as well, dude. You were yeah. pretty strong, man. Yeah. He was I... pretty much out benching me today. So uh, definitely good workout. I haven't had an upper body session for like um, quite some time now, maybe three weeks or so. So feeling pumped as fuck. And um, we're about to record an interview right now with him because he's actually an existing client. Um, so we're going to talk about that a little bit. And um, that video should be up by now already, so make sure to check out in the description box down below to also get some more personal information about him. So, all right, guys, so just warming up Joey at the train station. Yeah. Had a good workout, bro. And um, I wish you all the best in the future, yeah. sure, man. And good luck with your cut. Yeah. Oh. Later, man. Hi guys, so driving home, having me a little snack. Got some protein crisps here. And I'm trying out this new flavor sweet chili and sour cream. Um, and it's pretty damn good, guys. And these protein crisps, they only have like 100 calories, right? So it's not like a meal or anything. It's just a very, very small snack, actually. Very small. Mm. Anyway, I'm driving home right now. And I'll see you guys for the next meal. All right, guys. So pretty amazing meal I got myself here. Um, and this is kind of like a low-carb meal. I like to save most of my carbs for later at night. Um, because that's basically when I get hungry and crazy for carbs. So I am going to have three rice crackers with this meal as well. Um, so it's mainly just fats and a crazy amount of vegetables. I got 400 grams of veggies here actually. Um, so that kind of fills me up as a proper meal. And then I'll save a lot of carbs for at night. And that's just personal preference. Like you can have carbs whenever you want. Um, it doesn't really matter. It's all about the total daily targets, right? So. Focus on that guys. So anyway, I wanted to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And let me know in the comments down below if you did. Make sure to like the video if you liked the video. Comment and subscribe. And peace out guys. See you in the next video.